Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss the JE Main 2018 paper, Code C. Now, as you can see in this paper, there were total 30 questions. 15 questions were from class 11 and 15 questions were from class 12. So, the physics part starts from question number 61. So, the question reads that the angular width of the central maxima uh, in a single slit diffraction pattern is 60 degree now single slit diffraction pattern means suppose this is if this is the slit then this is the diffraction pattern so this is the central maxima this is the central maxima and this angle is 60 degree and this is the width of the slit so for diffraction we have first order diffraction it is d sin theta is equal to 1 into lambda okay so that gives not this here theta is half of this angle so theta is 30 degree okay so that gives uh, lambda is equal to d by 2 okay so now the fringe width beta uh, second part is uh, you have another slit is brought and your fringe width is given you are asked to calculate the slit separation so fringe width beta is lambda d by d dash okay this is d dash because now there is a this d is the slit width and this d dash is the separation between the two slits when the second slit is also brought in its vicinity so now if you substitute the values as uh, given in the questions you will get uh, d dash as 25 micrometer okay so the correct option is 4 for this question so this is code c question number 61 the correct answer is 4 option 4 25 micrometer in question number 63 you have this circuit so this diode it is forward bias connected to a source of potential 3 volt this is a 200 ohm resistor okay and you are asked to calculate the reading in this emitter so basically you are asked to calculate the current flowing in this circuit now as you can see this diode is forward bias now in forward biased uh, in the ncrd textbook the voltage versus current graph this side you have current, this side you have voltage. So the graph is like this. So that is at zero, that is zero, till 0 0.7 volt, the uh, current is zero. Beyond 0 0.7 volt, the current increases. Okay. So that means this 0 0.7 volt is the cut-in voltage. That is the minimum voltage that must be applied so that this diode will start conducting. So that means zero, this side, this diode will exert a potential of 0 0.7 volt so that means the net potential when this 3 volt potential is applied the current will be 3 minus 0 0.7 divided by the resistance of the circuit this as you can see this diode is forward bias so this diode will not offer any resistance so resistance of this part is 200 ohm so it is 3 minus 0 0.7 divided by 200 so that comes to 11 0.5 milliampere okay 11.5 milliampere so for question number 63 code c option 2 is the correct answer option 2 is the correct answer now question number 64 reads the density of the material uh, if the shape is the relative error in measuring the mass and length is given 1.5% 1% the maximum error in determine the density determining the density so okay now density density is equal to mass by volume okay now if you have to calculate the relative error or percentage error the percentage error delta rho by rho into 100 is equal to delta m by m into 100 relative error or percentage error in n m plus percentage error in volume okay but in this question they have given instead of volume they have given 
length. So this can be written as delta m by m into 100 plus 3 delta l by l into 100. So now the percentage error in in mass it is how much percentage error in mass it is 1.5 percent and percentage error in length it is 1 percent or 3 into 1 so that is 4.5 percent. So 4.5 percent is the correct answer. So for code C question number 64 the correct option is number 2. So question number 65 it reads as electron proton alpha particle having same kinetic energy moving in circular orbits of radius you have to uh, find the relation between the radius now radius expression for radius if you have if you remember the relation for radius for particle moving in uniform magnetic field undergoing circular motion it is r equal to mv by qb now in this question they have given information about kinetic energy so this can also be written as twice m e k square root of this momentum is square root of this e k is the kinetic energy divided by qb now all the particles they have same kinetic energy so this 2 is constant ek is also constant now if this 2 and ek they are constant that means r is proportional to square root of m divided by q all the particles are moving in the same magnetic field so this term is also constant okay so these terms are removed so that means square root of m by q radius is proportional to square root of m by q so that means for electron r e is equal to mass of electron by charge of electron okay for proton rp is equal to square root of mass of proton by charge of proton okay for alpha particle r alpha is equal to mass of alpha particle by charge of alpha particle square root of mass of alpha particle by charge of alpha particle okay now this can be written as r alpha equal to mass of alpha particle is four times mass of protons so square root of this m alpha is 4 mp and charge of alpha particle is twice of the charge of proton so this 4 comes out 2 that 2 and 2 is 2 cancels out so r alpha is equal to square root of mp by qp so that means these two quantities are equal okay so radius of proton and radius of alpha particle are equal okay and this radius of electron is me by qe so that gives us that r alpha is equal to r p and it is greater than r e so radius of electron will be the smallest so for question number 65 code c the correct option is number one now question number 66 it says that we have three concentric spheres and uh, this radius is a this radius is b this, this radius is c this is having surface charge density sigma this having surface charge density minus sigma and this is again plus sigma you have to calculate the potential on this surface okay potential on this shell b okay so vb just the general formula is v is equal to kq by r okay so if you have to calculate the potential at b it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay this for inner shell this cell a the charge say it is q a divided by b because we are calculating this potential on this surface plus q b by b plus q c by c okay now q a q a is equal to charges surface charge density into area so that is sigma into 4 pi a square qb it is minus sigma into 4 pi b square and qc is equal to sigma into 4 pi again c square okay so now if you substitute the value of all these things in this equation you will get vb is equal to sigma by epsilon naught a square minus b square by b plus c okay so if you see the options it is number one okay so for question number 66 for question number 66 the correct answer is option one 
Now, question number 67, it says that you have the system of two masses, M1 and M2, and this mass M is placed over M2. You have to find the value of this M so that this system is at rest. So that means, practically, for this system, if this force acting in this direction must be equal to force acting in this direction. Now, force acting in this direction is the tension, and that tension is equal to the weight of this block, that is 5G. Okay, so that so if you apply this concept, that net force on this net force on this block system should be equal to zero. So in this direction, the force is five g. Okay, so in this direction, the force is mu times m two plus m into g. Okay, now mu is zero point one five, so zero point one five into m two is ten plus m into g is equal to five g. Okay, so this GG cancels out. So M is equal to 5 divided by 0 0.15 minus 10. Okay, now if you solve this, you will get the answer as 23.33 kg. Okay, now in this question, none of these options means all the options, not even one option matches with the solution. And I think that the answer given here is all the options are not correct or, or maybe the option was, was 27.3 so there was a typing error so you will be given a bonus mark in this the correct answer is 23.3 which is, doesn't ma matches with any other option so you will be given a bonus mark for question number 67 in code c